Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the new little Express LRS module from Beta FPV, it's the Nano version 2. Uh, it is a slight upgrade from the Nano, adding a few extra features and uh, so let's go closer and have a look. Alright, we've got a couple of packets to show you here. Uh, so, little manual in there, good little manual. Here's a little Nano unit. RP-SMA antenna connector. This is the 2.4 gigahertz version. There's the little antenna which has an added indicator LED in it now. First antenna that has an LED in it apparently. Always remember to put the antenna on before you power it up. Uh, external power Connector there with an XT30 when you're using power over 500 milliwatts, uh, you should power it externally. Uh, USB C cable, knowledge base QR code. Now, this is the nano style, but we also get a full size JR adapter. Uh, so we can use it on uh, radios such as the QX7, which I will plug it into and show you. Uh, the Nano will fit into things like the Radio Master Pocket and Zorro. Uh, won't fit into the FR Sky X20 still. They've uh, got their own version of the Nano module. Fair enough. So anyway, I'll just plug that in there straight away so we can stick it into the receiver, uh, the transmitter and fire it up. Uh, we also have, uh, I think this is... Uh, for connecting to Futaba radios from memory and a little sticky pad there as well. All right, so what do we have? We have a cooling fan, that's an addition. We have two external buttons, user definable buttons, which is another addition, and a full one watt maximum power. Yeah, might as well stick it in a radio and check it out. We've got the antenna on. Remember to put the antenna on before you power it up. And in your model, what you need to do, as usual, turn the internal module off, turn the external module on, and choose CRSF as the RF mode. And there we can see we have a blue pulsing light on there, which indicates something. <laughs> I'll have to have a look at the manual to work out what it is. The Nano V2 also adds backpack functionality, which uh, I've never used the backpack, I've never had a need for it, but that allows you to operate things like video transmitters that have also have the backpack functionality uh, through your radio. And let's fire up the Lua script. There we go, it's identified it as the B FPV Nano TX V2. Packet rates, I always have mine on 100 hertz for uh, fixed wing flying. That's the best one for me. Gives you a full 16 channel uh, lower rate, but that doesn't matter at all. And there's all the other packet rates right up to EF 1000. But uh, 100 hertz full is the fixed wing setting for me. Transmitter power. 1 watt right down to 25 milliwatts. I tend to have mine on 250 and dynamic power on. That way it adjusts the power down to whatever I need, uh, up to a maximum of 250, and that is more than enough to get you into trouble. And if we scroll down, VTX administrator, here's where you can uh, send via the backpack uh, settings to your video transmitter. As I said, nothing I have ever done before. There's your, your backpack settings. Again, I've never used that at all. I've never had a need for it. And if you, if we were connected up to another receiver, uh, you would see the receiver down here in uh, other devices. You can do some setup with the receiver as well. Let's have a look at the Beta FPV website. Uh, here's the little Nano TX V2 module. 45 US dollars, three different versions, 2.4 gigahertz, 915 and 868. 
Uh, actually, while we're here, just have a look at the compar price comparison. So 45 for the V2 Nano Super G, the top of the range Gemini compatible is 70 bucks. The original Nano, 40 bucks, and the original Micro, another 40 bucks. So a little bit more expensive, uh, but with the extra features, a little bit uh, cheaper than the, the um, full diversity uh, Gemini Super G. First ever T-LED antenna with built-in LED. RF power for the 2.4 gig goes up to 1 watt for the 915 and 868 megahertz goes up to 2 watts. 2.4 goes up to F1000 packet rate uh, but as fixed wing flyers we're only using it from 333 down. And there's the 915 and 868 versions and preloaded with Express LRS V 3.3.0. Very good. And here's a little reminder, please put the antenna on before you power it up, otherwise you'll burn things out. And if you scroll down further on the website, you get all this good information about setup. They're, they're uh, pretty good with their information, Beta FPV, on their website. They include a lot of stuff. Uh, the default functions for the buttons on the back, uh, binding mode, three short presses, increase power, uh, press for 1.5 point, uh, seconds, and button two. Go to VTX channel menu, short press two times, and send VTX settings long press for half a second. Now you can use the buttons, but I usually just use the Lua script. That seems to work fine for me. All right, uh, let's uh, have a look at the manual now. Nano TX V2 module. The 2.4 version has RPSMA and the 915.868 version has uh, SMA antenna connector. And these show the uh, different color effects, which to be honest, they confuse me. I've never bothered to learn what, what is what. But uh, let's have a look. I'm using mine on 100 hertz usually, so I should be a, a dark purple sort of color when I finally get bound. Here's the target, uh, device category beta FPV 2.4 gigahertz and the device, actual device target is beta FPV nano 2.4 gigahertz TX V2. It's always good to know these things when you're updating the firmware. And connecting external power, it's reminding us that uh, when the voltage of the battery is dropping below 7 volts for 2S or 10.5 for 3S, don't use the higher powers, otherwise you could reboot. And that's about it, all good information from the website and the manual. So that's a cool little bit of gear from Beta FPV. Look at the size of that. Uh, it can get you multiple tens of kilometers of range rock solid RF connection, even for just line of sight flying, slope soaring, thermal gliding and things like that. You know, Express LRS has really come of age and uh, it's just become a, a great protocol or a great system to use. That'll do for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.